our people are asleep and it is time for us to wake up wake up out of that sleep read the book of Romans chapter 13 and verse 11 read and that knowing the time that now is high time to awake out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than we believed read that again for the people because once again our problem is we like to think we woke but our people we are asleep tv has us asleep drugs has us asleep look at our people alcohol has us asleep sin has us asleep and we need to wake up read and then knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep god is telling us it is Cord. We're going to show y'all today. Read that scripture again. But it shall come to pass, 
if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments. So peep this out, Jalen and Darrell. If we didn't listen to our spiritual father, God, just like when you were younger at mom and daddy house or at your grandma house or one of your uncles, uncles or aunties, if we didn't listen to God to do what God said, read. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, come on, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So all these curses, meaning bad things, bad things was going to happen to us. Bad things were going to happen to us. And let's get into these bad things. Read. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. So it said cursed. Shall th Once again, we're talking about the word curse. Bad things are going to happen to us in the city. Once again, who live in the ran down neighborhoods? Black. The black people, right? The blacks and the Hispanics like the Mexicans, Puerto Ricans, and the Native Americans. You absolutely right. So it said, curse shall thou be in the city. Y'all know, y'all know what link is, right? Like a link car. Who get link? Us, right? Is that a good thing to be on link? Because if you're on link, that means you're poor. That's the only way you can qualify for it. For somebody lying, which they shouldn't be doing, we should be keeping it real at all times. But nine times out of ten, if you on link, you're impoverished. You're going through poverty. Who's getting who's getting gunned down by the police left and right as a people? Black people, right? And Hispanics, our fellow Hispanic brothers, right? That's how you know we curse. Who out here killing each other? Not, hold, you said everybody? So, in Humble Park, when a couple got pulled out of their car and gunned down, right? That wasn't a white man pulling that couple out of their car and gunning them down. That was their own people. But, but that's the, but what we're trying to show you, what we're trying to show you, Darrell and Jalen, that our people, we are cursed. We the ones living in, hood, in the hood. We the ones living in the ghetto. Yes, go ahead. Absolutely. And this is the reason why. Once again, y'all brought it yourself, y'all young men, and y'all can see that we killing each other. Yes, the police gun us down, right? No. Who y'all represent? We represent God. But like I said, y'all know the police is shooting us down, right? We killing each other, right? So that's how we're cursed in the city. And then read the next part. Shall thou be in the field? When y'all were in school, did school ever teach y'all about slavery? Now, in slavery, who is who is in slavery in the field? The blacks, right? Was the white man getting whipped on his back? Did you ever read about a Chinese man getting whipped on his back? What about the Arab man? Was he getting whipped on his back? Look at these pictures right here. These are real pictures. We were getting these. Look at check these pictures. Out. And our Hispanics brothers still cursed in the field to this day. They got them out there picking oranges for pennies on a dollar, right? We still the ones getting underpaid for low paying jobs, right? Yeah. Our people are cursed. Go to the next curse. What we got? Curse shall be that basket. No, give me 32. Verse 32. Listen up, sister. What's your name? Champagne. We going over how our brothers and sisters, we are the Israelites according to God. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are God's chosen people. But the reason why it don't seem like that, Champagne, because we refuse to keep God's commandments. We refuse to keep God's commandments. Our people rather stand out here and get drunk and high off drugs. Our people rather say, our people rather say that, hey, uh, we're equal. Everybody's equal. When God chose us to be above all nations, let's get that. Let's get that. Because our people rather, our people like to think we are equal, and God created us all equal, but we are not created equal. God chose us to be above everybody. Read the book of Deuteronomy, chapter seven and verse six. Read for. 
and holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Hey, sis, sis, here it is. God chose you to be a special person unto him. Read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Read that again because black people, so-called black people, Hispanics and Native Americans need to understand that God chose us to be above all people. So we must carry ourselves that way. We shouldn't be out here high as hell, shark off our behinds. We scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.